How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, it was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Give me something. Damn, that's not pretty. When I walk around Rhodes, it feels like a town trapped in time. It really does. I was thinking Come the on, same give me thing. Something. Give me something. Come on, I need something. Great, here. Lucky. That's as it should be. Come here. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs>
Let's go, girl. Hi, Jack. Slow up now. Yep. Get it. Come on, girl. Oh. Yeah, there's a girl. When Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But um, well uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there, it's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my aunt. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Church grounds are closed. I don't care very much what they are. We're looking for some privacy. You get this guy? Good at two shoes. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh. Damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go, mister. <laughs> Who's talking now, huh? Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Oh, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this.
generous allowing our stable boy to sleep under the new canvas of the wagon. Hey, young girl. Sticky bits on my last trip. He will need replacing. Well, that comes as no surprise. I'm running out, Rose. Get him right here. Well, then. <laughs> Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Ooh. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, we need to get moving. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until... Well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodges. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But. I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. 
That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? You could try washing once in a while. No, oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Go right at the crossroads. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. <laughs> They're right again here. What was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, my this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. 
Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. You see one by the bridge over there? The last one, get him to the wagon. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. You're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. Is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
Jason, get out of here. Fine by me. Quick, let's go before any more show up. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. <clears throat> ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, uh, uh, no good, white uh, trash, hillbilly uh, piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally, You've always been a finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near Camp Austin? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Jose written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that.
I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Oh, some silly romance. Aren't all romances silly? Yes. And this one's particularly silly. I know Mr. You Pearson? I ain't thinking much. Drunken idiot, that's what you think. I got bigger problems to worry about. Have you, Arthur? How are you? Have you? That's nice. Good for you. Good for you. But Karen, don't do this to yourself. Please. You got a choice. Sure. I got a choice. That's nice. So what? You're a deputy now? Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> well, I guess. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure.
Okay, Mr. Morgan. Out, old man. Arthur, how's the cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in, in black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> don't let it go cold. Folks Come seem on. happy, Mr. Morgan. Men. Don't fight other men's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. There's room here. You want to sit? How's it going? Yeah, good. All right for some. Sadie. Hey, Sean. Okay, that's enough for me. How's it going? Javier. Strauss.
Mr. Morgan. Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come through. If you need bait, I got it. Weapons, I got it. Deeds, I got it. You just better have the right price for me. Got it? All right, what do you have for me? You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. No questions asked. Good then. Not bad, this. Hell, you really want to get rid of this? Thanks for your help.
You better know how to use that. You will love that, I swear. Go anywhere, anywhere. You won't find better prices. Really, you won't regret it. You think nothing would shock me these days. Remember, hush, hush. Okay, damn girl. Keep it quiet. The Supreme One is talking. But today, we grow one yeah, stronger. Yeah, yeah. As we anoint a new brother. Oh, yeah. Into oh, our no. sacred cause. Yeah. Yeah. Please, step yeah. forward and kneel. All right. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on! Yeah. Let yeah. Go. the eternal ah. light shine! Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Watching. Hey, you don't mind, do you? Foreign devil, do your worst. This is insanity! Oh, <laughs> 
Lord, save me! Good girl. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything. So. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What? Are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way, bunch of smart Alex. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. 
There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down into Rose. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. Should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I see something? Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Get out here. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? What? Good. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Oh, 
the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! <laughs> Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! on this side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security. More on the right here.
Bill still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn one on our backs. It was an yeah. honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwong. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwong. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. <sighs> Stay quiet and move. Yourself. I got my eye on you. You got a real issue, don't you? You want your hide hung? You're paying for this hot lug. Okay there.
Jesus. That's what you've become. Wise. Oh, yeah, that's how it seems to me. Big, tough men, robbers, <laughs> hoodlums, proud degenerates. Okay, then. Into a bunch of Thank you, Arthur. women at the side. Some lawman in a little snow. <sighs> Never seen anything so disgusting in my whole time. Hello. Hello, Jose. Hello. You're doing good, girl. Let me get this off, you girl. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly! Come bustle, bustle, drink a bout, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo.